She served her country well during overseas missions, but now the things she saw, the events that took place, have her hitting rock bottom. Her parents are afraid that she'll die on the streets of Metro Detroit if she doesn't get help immediately. Growing up, Chrissy Myers was a smart, precocious kid with a big smile. She was creative in her art, her words, her writings, everything, you know. Um, she was just an amazing child. You couldn't keep her down. She was, she was a, her own little whirlwind. Smiley, happy, happy-go-lucky. When she decided to join the military like her brother and sister, her parents could not have been prouder. Just to be a part of something real and important, uh, and you know, meaningful, significant. And she excelled as a Marine Reserve, becoming an expert marksman, speaking foreign languages, valuable skills for overseas missions. Got a lot of medals and everything. Um, but over the course of time, you know, things happened. You know, not good things. She saw things, experienced things. Being a female in a mostly macho male environment was rough. I mean, there's things that we don't want to know and we don't want to see, but these are the things that they're coming home with that we are eventually going to deal with. Once home, Chrissy spiraled downward quickly. She paid for it with a lot of trauma, a lot of PTSD, um, now the alcoholism. The drinking got bad, real bad. Chrissy lost her husband, gave her child up to a friend, Soon, her parents were getting calls about her drinking. I remember the first time uh, some hair salon called us because she'd like passed out. Then came the police. The Rochester Hills Police found her passed out in a restaurant's parking lot. They took her to uh, the Beaumont and she was listed as the Jane Doe. It was last time she spent uh, three or four or five days in the hospital. I just thought they were just going to detox her. But when I opened that curtain, she was on a ventilator. In several phone conversations, Chrissy has told me she wants to get help, wants to stop drinking. As a veteran, the VA hospital is available to her. The VA cannot comment on patients, but her family's documentation shows she's been there a lot. We take her to the VA, it's a Band-Aid fix. It's like get her detox and then get her out and it just doesn't work. I was hoping that the whole uh, plan to get her into a, an inpatient, an intense inpatient program was going to be finalized, but they just discharged her. I guess she says she wants to be discharged and, and some one of her supposed friends came and picked her up and, and you know, took her off. And that is the problem. The VA cannot hold Chrissy against her will. And every time she leaves, she gets closer to death, leaving her parents petrified. And it's like, do you realize this girl who came back serving our country is gonna die? I mean, I'm prepared for a funeral as best as I can be, but we want her to live, you know? She's worth worth it. All these vets are worth it. The defenders first learned of Chrissy Myers from a tip call, a Marine veteran breaking rules by working as an escort in local hotels. Chrissy was advertising on the internet under the name Ava, and we showed up to confront her. Uh, we want to talk to you about your escort business. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Immediately, we realized while she may have been scamming the system, what she really needed is help. You guys can get off me. Would you like us to help you find a better occupation? Chrissy was working as an escort to pay for booze in a hotel room. Her mother recently found out where she was and rescued her. There was throw up and blood all over the bed, you know, and they ended up taking her to the St. John's. A Marine Reserve veteran with talent and potential. She just writes and she writes beautifully and she can make a name for herself. She can be extremely successful. She can be as successful as she wants but in deep despair over her experiences in the military. We just don't know where to go, where to turn. You know, it's like, and my heart goes out for her because you want to protect your children and you can't. We've been in contact with the Veterans Affairs Office and they assure us that they have several programs that could help Chrissy if she's willing to put in the work. We will continue to follow her story and report on her progress. Kevin Dietz, Defenders.